Good morning. I'm delighted to join everyone at KDD 2021. Special congratulations to the organizing committee as well for putting this together in such challenging times. I'd also like to thank Tomasic Holdings for bringing KDD 2021 to Singapore and for inviting me to participate alongside global experts in data science and AI. These two areas, these two technologies, data science and AI, are important for Singapore's Smart Nation initiative. We launched our national AI strategy in 2019 in recognition of the potential for AI to fundamentally transform the way that we live, work, and play. Our vision is to be a leader in developing and deploying scalable, impactful AI solutions in key sectors of high value and relevance to our citizens and businesses by 2030. Several enablers need to be in place for us to achieve this. One is the presence of a vibrant research, innovation and enterprise or RIE ecosystem for the research and development of data science and AI capabilities. Today, if I may touch on three areas that Singapore is working on to build up our data science and AI RIE ecosystem. They are firstly, supporting cutting edge research. Secondly, promoting data sharing. And finally, translating that research into real world applications, possibly the most important aspect. First, we're committed to investing in cutting edge research as part of Singapore's $25 billion five-year RIE 2025 plan. We will step up our investments in AI and data to strengthen our digital capabilities focused on addressing the needs of our economy and our society. For example, we've invested $300 million to set up AI Singapore, a national AI R&D program. And we've recently committed a further $120 million to this to be used over the next five years. AI Singapore supports activities across the spectrum of fundamental research in areas such as explainable AI and resource efficient AI, all the way to translational research to address national challenges such as healthcare. And in doing so, seeks industry collaborations to accelerate AI adoption. We're also setting up new research centers. We've recently set up two that focus on privacy preserving technologies, one at the National University of Singapore, the other at Nanyang Technological University. This is rec recognizing the need to engender trust in the digital world. Businesses and consumers need to feel safe using digital technologies and be assured that their privacy is protected. By enhancing our research capabilities and privacy preserving technologies, we hope to provide all stakeholders with that assurance and confidence as they digitalize and give them that confidence to unlock new opportunities across the economy. It's great that one of the focuses for KDD Trust Day is on privacy preserving AI technologies. We look forward to the exchange of ideas, the sharing of best practices, and hopefully the forging of new partnerships in this relatively new area. I'm glad that we're making good progress in developing a vibrant RIE ecosystem. Singapore is currently ranked highly first globally in terms of fuel-weighted citation impact of our AI publications, the academic output. But it's also the people that we have here, talented engineers, two out of the world's top 10, most promising young AI researchers. Ranked by the IEEE in 2020, based here in Singapore. Going forward, we hope that the research landscape in Singapore will continue to present many exciting opportunities, including collaborations with international partners and friends like yourselves. Beyond investing in cutting edge research, we're also committed to promoting data sharing. Digital transactions are becoming increasingly complicated and complex, involving data from multiple sources and then interfacing with multiple parties. With increased data sharing, we will be able to construct richer data sets, which in turn then drives more efficient, robust, and innovative AI solutions. There are, however, a number of challenges, a lack of common data standards, concerns over data privacy, and suboptimal data infrastructure. Singapore hopes to overcome some of these challenges by developing new data sharing infrastructure that is open, accessible, and secure. We are taking a sectoral approach as each sector and each industry has specific needs and different competitive landscapes. We're bringing together stakeholders within each sector to identify 
key data assets and to develop central technical platforms to support such data sharing. There has been progress. For instance, in the transport sector, we've developed the Land Transport Data Mall, which publishes more than 100 different types of transport-related data sets. For example, real-time bus transport patterns, taxi availability, traffic conditions. And today, there are more than 600 million data queries processed through this every month, supporting novel AI use cases. Not all related to transport. One example recently is researchers from the Singapore University of Technology and Design, SUTD, used millions of origin destination bus and train riderships data points from the data mall to pinpoint potential COVID-19 super spreader locations so as to help stem the spread of this disease in Singapore. Beyond transport, we're also developing data platforms in other sectors. Last month, for example, we announced the launch of a common data infrastructure for the supply chain ecosystem called the Singapore Trade Data Exchange, or SG TradeX. SG TradeX provides stakeholders with a plug and play platform to exchange data in a secure environment. Data is encrypted and source transmitted without being stored at rest. From the early results of pilots so far, we see that SG TradeX has the potential to unlock more than $200 million of value annually for the supply chain ecosystem. Apart from developing new data infrastructure, we're also working with credible and reliable partners internationally to facilitate trusted and secure cross-border data flows. At the regional level, we're spearheading efforts such as the ASEAN cross-border data flow mechanism, and at the international level, we've concluded two digital economy agreements, one with Chile and New Zealand, and one with Australia. And there are several other agreements in the pipeline. We look forward to forging even more regional and international partnerships to facilitate greater data sharing in the months and years to come. Finally, I'd like to speak a little bit about our efforts to translate all this research, all this effort into real world applications. AI holds great promise as the next frontier of technological opportunities. The readiness of the technology and the challenges of deployment, however, sometimes slow down AI adoption. We are learning to overcome such challenges as we implement our national AI projects. And we've launched an initial tranche of five sets of national AI projects in sectors such as transport and logistics, smart cities and estates, healthcare, education, and safety and security. For example, a key use case under our national AI project in healthcare is Selena Plus, a locally developed AI algorithm that analyzes eye scans to detect diabetic retinopathy. This algorithm, Selena Plus, achieves accuracy levels of more than 90% and provides analysis of these scans in mere seconds. And th there have been challenges despite this model's performance that had to be resolved in order for the deployment in real world settings. Teams had to come together, healthcare practitioners, healthcare regulators, and our private sector integrators have to work with public health institutions to address a range of deployment issues, regulatory compliance, funding ch challenges, models of clinical service. But today, Selena Plus is projected to screen 120,000 patients annually, covering all diabetic eye screenings at our public health primary care centers across Singapore. It's excellent to see this kind of progress that we're making. In addition to our national AI projects, we've set up testbed sites to trial new AI innovations, which allow us to bring that research from the lab into real world settings, a variety of real world settings. For example, the Maritime Drone Estate is a testbed for drone technologies like shore to ship deliveries and remote ship inspections. We have the Sustainable Tropical Data Center testbed to trial cooling technologies digital twins and energy optimization algorithms for data centers central to our smart nation plans. We have the Center for Healthcare Innovation Startup Enterprise Link to test with innovative healthcare technologies like medical imaging and clinical risk scoring solutions and think how to translate these into business models. One particular testbed site that I'd like to elaborate on is the Pungal Digital District or PDD. PDD is a 50 hectare greenfield site that will serve as a living lab to test how digital technologies can enable new concepts of living, working, and service delivery. Opportunities to build an entire digital district from scratch do not come by every day. 
uh, and changes to how cities are run are often incremental and rarely revolutionary. PDD, therefore, offers us a unique opportunity to shift the paradigm in the way that technology is used to manage our infrastructure and provide services to citizens and businesses. We already have numerous initiatives planned for PDD. These include a smart transport system that involves the pilot deployment of autonomous buses, a green and sustainable estate that is supported by AI-enabled home appliances, intelligent estate lighting and infrastructure, and a smart energy grid full of solutions to optimize energy consumption and reduce carbon emissions. And new operating and service delivery concepts, such as food centers with smart facilities management systems to provide better cleaning and maintenance services, and sports centers with virtual coaching, augmented reality, gamification, and online facilities booking. There are many opportunities yet to be explored, whether through our national AI projects or the many testbed sites that we are building in Singapore. These are exciting. I'm thrilled to see how these can potentially unlock new innovative solutions from AI and improve the lived experiences of our residents here in Singapore. AI is a transformative technology, and I've given you, I hope, a glimpse of how Singapore is approaching this innovation and this technology. There's a lot more that we can do and that we must do, and we welcome partners from the global community to exchange insights, experiences, and collaborate with us on our journey to become a smart nation. I wish everyone good health and a useful, productive, and enriching conference ahead. Thank you very much.